What's going on, everybody? K here. I got this gameplay for y'all on this map, not named Stronghold. I'm using a Weevil with Silencer, Rapid Fire, and Extended Mags. Oh, and right here, I am not camping. I am Soundhorn. I don't want you guys grilling me in the comment section saying, no, oh, he camps. I knew he camped. Uh, in his first video, he said he was a rusher, but I knew he camped. I'm unsubscribing. I don't want to watch your videos anymore. No, you won't even see that. You won't even see me sound horn a lot. So there is a difference. So just when you do see it, just know that it's sound horn and not camping. Anyways, I want to talk about this Weevil with the silencer. I don't know what Treyarch did to this gun. Uh, I might have to go through the patch notes and do some research myself. But it seems like there is no drawback. Even at range with the Weevil when you have a silencer on it. Um, It seems to just work as if it didn't have a silencer on it. I don't see any difference in right there. I don't know what I was doing. I should have just shot him. When I first seen him, instead of turning around, doing a 360, then deciding to shoot him. Uh, I think I was too focused on picking up that damn AK. And I didn't really even get to use it. By the way, that is my favorite gun in the game, the AK. Even though if I showed you my combat record, it wouldn't match up. As the AK being my favorite gun. Because, I don't know. This, gun, this game is so... Dominant by you know SMGs. Of course, it's going to be one of the SMGs, but I'm gonna say that for another video. Anyways, like I was saying, it doesn't seem like the Weevil has drawback with or without a silencer. It's it just seems to work all like all the time with or without a silencer. And me, I don't like to run with silencers because an attachment that makes your gun weaker. The thought of that just makes it unbearable, unbearable, you know, for me when it comes to the attachment to silencer. I'd rather my gun be strong all the time, anytime, whenever I'm using it, so I can kill the enemy as quickly as possible and just move on to the next enemy. And of course, I do know there are benefits to running with a silencer, like being able to shoot without showing up on the radar. Um, that helps with enemies not being able to know where your exact location is because i promise i have to say that is one of the most annoying things about going loud with your gun when you show up on the radar and the enemy sees you like nothing else matters when they see that red dot on the radar they run right to it like they lose all the awareness in the world it doesn't matter if there's a guy right in the corner they might try and stop and shoot him for a moment but because of that, they will lose that gunfight because they're so focused on that red dot. They don't really take the time out to notice that not only is that red dot there, there might be enemies around that red dot and they don't take the time out to think about that. So they just rush right in, right into the red dot and usually they get a kill. <laughs> I have to say, usually it works in their favor, but that's how... I don't know if you guys noticed, that's how you get killed right after you get a kill because you rush right in without thinking that, it, that there could be other enemies around. Now, sometimes you're put in a situation where it where you're going to get killed regardless because that's how the game works. Um, it's really hard to get double kills. Like when two people are looking at you, it's like really most of the time about I would say 70% of the time you're going to die. If two enemies are looking at you and shooting at you at the same time. Um, also, I know that a silencer is good for flanking, um, getting around the enemies without making too much noise, which adds an element of surprise. But I don't know. Maybe maybe I should run the silencer on each of my class setups. And maybe I'll have a better judgment and come out with a different opinion of the silencer, but it just doesn't work for me. Even though I just described all the benefits that you have when running with the silencer, you think I'd be, I would be more willing, but it just doesn't work for me. So I defer to other attachments, but I want to get out of that habit. I want to be real versatile and be able to run with 
a whole bunch of different attachments, not just the ones I'm used to, which is extended mags and fast mags, by the way. Um, I also wanted to talk about the Ripper. Um, before I get into that, though, as you can tell, I'm picking the momentum in this gameplay if you've been paying attention. You know, I know it took me a while, but it finally happened. It usually happens this way. I usually get into a game and I'll start off okay, but then I'll start gaining momentum and just start killing people left and right. But yeah, I just wanted you to pay attention to the gameplay now if you haven't been because it starts to get a little more entertaining. But anyways, about the Ripper, I'm in between with the Ripper, but it does work well with the Sonser because you're able to get up on the enemy and like I said the element of surprise it helps you get up on the enemy so you'll have a better success rate when you're trying to do the ripper sometimes but as the ripper itself uh, it's kind of, I'm kind of in between with it in the patch I really didn't like it because you had to be like smelling their breath to rip them but since they buffed it and now they nerfed it again, I'm kind of, that's why I'm kind of in between with it. Um, I will say this about it though. It is fun to use if you know how to use it effectively. And it's just something about when you rip people, it's just so satisfying. I don't know why, but it is. And the fact that you can get it really quickly and multiple times throughout the match. And I'm running the perk overclock so I can get it multiple times and that much quicker. It just adds even more satisfaction to it. But that's all I wanted to say about it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like rating. Share and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Freaking fun factors of the game. As if like the game, like stuff, like as if the game wasn't. Anyways, I'm sorry I'm getting off topic. But like, as you can see, I'm using a robot. I'm using his psychosis ability, which is one of the most underrated abilities.